welcome to the session in this session we are going to discuss about children what exactly are shadows so shadow is something all of us have seen every day right children so you know what is shadow but can you define what is shadow see we have a picture over here with a tree and we have its shadow cast along this side right children this indicates that light is com coming somewhere from here right children because uh, we have an interesting fact over here that shadows are formed always in the direction opposite from where light is coming for example we have this tree light is coming from this direction then the shadow will be formed opposite to this in this direction right children but how do we define shadows so children shadows uh, see whenever we have a beam of light coming this way say these this is the beam of light right and in the way or in the path of light there comes an opaque object so we have this opaque object which comes in between the path of light rays right children so what uh, th this opaque object does is this op opaque object will not allow the light rays to pass through it instead it will block the path of light and there will be a black patch created in the opposite direction and this black patch is the shadow so children how can we define the shadow we can define the shadow as this black patch or the area uh, area behind the opaque object where light does not reach it. simply it is the area where light does not reach okay children so here also tree in this image tree is acting as an opaque object right children so whenever sun rays falls on it it uh, this tree blocks the path of the light rays and creates a black patch over here and this black patch is known as the shadow so i think children you would have got the basic idea of what the shadow is but in case you haven't understood it properly we are going to discuss this shadow in detail in this session okay children so let us now move ahead so children how do we define shadow and this question can come for around one mark or two marker so in this case children how will you define a shadow so you will write when an opaque object blocks the light when an opaque object blocks the light the area of darkness is formed right children that is what we have studied in the case of tree when the light rays came uh, towards a uh, tree the tree blocks the path of uh, these rays and creates a patch a dark patch or the area of darkness which is known as the shadow so this area or shape of darkness or partially uh, is known as shadow so this area or shape of darkness is called as shadow okay children i hope you would have understood what is the shadow simply when an uh, simply when an opaque object blocks the path of light there is a region where the light does not reaches and it creates a dark patch or the path of area of darkness which is known as the shadow okay children so children now we are going to conduct an activity to understand the formation of shadows uh, a little more deeply so children what you are going to do is you will hold and uh, one by one you will hold each of the opaque objects in the sunlight you will hold the opaque objects in the sunlight children and you know that and you will try to uh, uh, and you will try to observe its shadow and you will know that children the dark patch formed by each opaque object on the ground is due to its shadow and sometimes you can identify the objects uh, just by looking at its shadow so children what happens is sometimes the shape of shadow gives us the basic idea about the shape of the object that we are using right children but in cases this is this can be misleading and we can obtain uh, shapes uh, which are not uh, even close with the object right children for example for that for that of the tree when we observed its shadow and if we try to observe only shadow we will be able to recognize that this is the shadow of a tree but sometimes the shadows can be misleading which we are going to study with the help of another activity right children so children uh, next uh, what you are going to do is hold spread a what you are going to do is spread a sheet of paper on the ground hold a familiar object at some height what you are going to do is you at some height you will hold some familiar object okay and you will uh, on the ground you will spread a sheet of paper and 
so that its shadow is formed on the sheet now ask your friends to draw the outline of the object children right you will ask your friends to draw the outline of the object and you will observe uh, ask some of the friends to identify the object and you will be seeing children that most of the objects you will be able to identify the object through its shadow as we have discussed so let's move ahead now children in this activity what we are going to do is we are going to obtain the shadow at the time of night using a torch right children so let us read what we are going to do in this activity in this activity you will have to go in the dark and in evening go out in an open ground with your friends take a torch and hold a large sheet of cardboard with take a large sheet of cardboard with you so what are the materials required you will be needing a torch and a cardboard now hold the torch close to the ground so children suppose here is your friend standing you will place the torch close to the ground and you will uh, switch on the torch and shine it upwards shine it upwards so that it falls on your friend's face so that it falls on your friend's face now what you are going to do is you will try to observe whether you obtained a shadow or not and you will observe children that since you are casting uh, or since you are lighting this uh, torch light towards your friend's face you will not be able to find any shadows but why is is it so because children when you are holding the torch close to the ground but there is no screen behind your friend there is no tree there is no building so where uh, the shadow will be cast there will be no shadow if there is no screen behind your friend okay children so uh, let us just uh, uh, alter this activity a little what you are going to do is you will place a cardboard sheet behind your friend's face okay in this way so ask some of the other friend to hold this in this way and you are uh, going to take the torch and at at some height and now you will light it towards his face and you will observe that you can see the shadow on this cardboard why children why are you able to observe it now because now you have a screen where the shadow can be obtained uh, whereas in the previous case there was no screen on which we can we could have obtained the shadow right children so there is no shadow in the previous case after all the light from the torch is not able to pass through his body now ask another friend to hold the cardboard sheet behind your friend is the shadow now seen on the ground uh, is the shadow now seen on the cardboard sheet yes children the shadow can be seen on the screen which is this cardboard sheet and the walls of the rooms right children so the, this is the uh, image uh, uh, so this is the image through which you can understand this activity in a better way see this is you holding a torch lighting a uh, torch towards your friend's face and here is your another friend holding a screen and what is the screen this is nothing just a piece of cardboard sheet and you can observe the shadow being formed on this cardboard so children what we can conclude is from these activities we could conclude that we need a screen to obtain shadow second we need an opaque object right we need an opaque object in this case what is the opaque object your friend number 2 on uh, he is acting as an opaque object so these are the two important things and a source of light and here the source of light is this torch so children in order to obtain shadow we need a screen we need an opaque object and we need the source of light also children we have studied that most of the shadows indicate the shape of the object but there are cases where these shadows can be misleading and they may differ in shape from the object and this we are going to study with the help of another activity see children uh, you might have played in your childhood uh, like this you uh, whenever the light went off and there was candle in your room you uh, may have tried creating different images by uh, uh, by different hand gestures right children and you could have created a deer you could have created a crocodile right but in these cases when you will observe the image or the when you will observe these shadow can you identify that these are the shadows of your hand no children you cannot identify that because they are misleading they are creating an image 
of some other familiar object right children so shadows gives us some information about the shapes of the object but sometimes shadows can mislead us about the shape of the object okay children i really hope that you would have understood this now children we are going to conduct one more activity what you are going to do is you will place a chair in your playground of the school say in the playground of your school and suppose sunlight is coming from this direction so you will observe its image in this direction now what you are going to do is you will shift or tilt the chair in some other direction you will change its position and you will observe it changes the shape of the shadow too okay children so let us observe it with the help of this image so if light is coming from this direction the image or the shadow will be obtained in this direction whereas in this case the shadow will be obtained in this direction if we change the direction of light or the position of the object the shape and the position of the shadows will also be changed okay children so let us move ahead so children what was the prerequisite to obtain a shadow the prerequisites to obtain shadow is that we need a source of light right children then we need an opaque object and also we need a screen so these are the three important prerequisites that we require in order to create shadows okay children so children we have one more interesting science fact for you suppose during lightning and thunderstorm both light and sound are produced right children so can you say which of the two will you will receive first whether it will be the light that you will be able to see first or the sound that you can hear first sound or light so children definitely you will be able to see the light first because the speed of light is very very high in comparison to the speed of sound so let us read about it it will always be the light reaching you first children why because then the sound because the light travels faster than sound the speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second whereas the speed of sound is 343 meter per second and therefore the light will always always reach you first okay children so this was all about uh, this session and i really hope that you would have understood the concept really well now subscribe to bright duty course at rupees 1 per day only download bright duty app from play store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10 bright duty courses are available for the subjects of math science social science english and hindi in english and hindi medium bright duty follows three step approach that is learning assessment and exam preparation in learning topic wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions in assessment topic wise online mcq test practice assignments and chapter wise question bank are available with the solutions in exam preparation previous years question papers sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions sign up today on bright duty and avail your courses at affordable prices we are going to discuss a few question and answers from the topics that we have covered so far so children the first question is what are shadows okay children so let us begin with what are shadows so children whenever an opaque object it comes in the path of light and it blocks the path of light then it will create a dark patch behind it and this dark patch is known as the shadow so children what exactly are shadows shadows are actually the area of darkness which is left that is it is this area where light has not reached so this is known as the shadow so we'll uh, repeat it once more when an opaque object blocks the path of light and creates a dark region behind it then this dark region is known as shadow okay so let's move to the next question can shadows be colorful children so children if you take a green notebook then you take a blue notebook then you take a yellow notebook and you place these all in the path of sunlight okay so observe the the shadows obtained in each case and you will observe the color of shadow does not depend on the color of the object why because the uh, actually shadows are the region of darkness where the light has not reached 
so it has no relation to the color whatsoever so uh, shadows cannot be colorful no the shadows cannot be colorful the color of shadows is only black okay children okay children so let's move ahead to the next question what are the conditions for obtaining a shadow so children say we have to obtain a shadow so what are the conditions that we need so children we will be needing first a source of light which is very important for obtaining a shadow we need a source of light then we need an opaque object when we need an opaque object to block the path of light right then finally we will be needing a screen to obtain the shadow on okay okay children so we'll be needing a screen right so these are the three essential things that we require to create a shadow okay so let's move to the next question shadows always gives us the idea about the shape of the object is it true or false so children this is false sometimes they do give us the idea about the shape of the object but in cases like suppose i create an image of a, a flying bird with my hands so uh, when we observe the shadow we can see the, uh, we will be able to see that it is a shadow of a bird but is it really a shadow of a bird or is it just an illusion so children it was just an illusion that we have created with our hands so children sometimes these shadows can be misleading okay so the answer is false so children that's it these were the question and answers from the topic that we have covered so far so thank you so much for your attention now subscribe to bright duty course at rupees 1 per day only Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of math, science, social science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices.